In this tutorial, we'll just take a look at one way to make waves. Waves are fun. And um, we'll use uh, dynamic paint in order to do it. Now, we've used dynamic paint before. We were modeling the, seat, modeling the building and we were kind of deforming the building with the particle system. But in this case, what we'll do is I'm using the same particle system from the previous tutorial where I'm blasting the particles. But if I run it from here, you'll see what it's doing is disrupting the surface and creating the waves in the surface like that. Now, there's many ways to try and create a wave, and this is a pretty fun way to do it. The one thing you have to notice is that the this surface here, if you look at it close, is pretty heavily subdivided like that. In fact, let's try and see if we can even do it one more time, if I can subdivide it even smooth this time and see what happens. That could be about the limit of it. Yeah, it's about the limit for this system. But you can see it does help, actually. Having, if you have just a few subdivisions, your waves just don't look really great at all. But it's got nice, nice effect. You can see it hits this boundary. So this plane is nothing more than in here. I've come over in here to uh, dynamic paint right in here. In fact, I'll just get rid of it. And so we start from scratch. So the plane normally is just going through the plane like that. I make it a dynamic paint object, and it's going to be my canvas. And then for the type of canvas that I want down here, the surface type, you just change it to waves. All right, so immediately it's doing it like this. And then there's a few other things that I've changed. One is I've cranked up the speed of the particles so they hit the surface faster. And then I had to grab the particle system itself, which, which I have now, that piece going around the sphere. And it also has to be a dynamic paint object. So made him a dynamic paint, but in that case, it's a brush. And you add the brush. Well, you can barely even see it right there. But because it's set to the mesh volume, it's got to be the particle system that's hitting it. And i got to pick that particle system out of there. All right. So now the particles are influencing the water. But it doesn't look very dramatic yet and all I've done is I've wrote I've tilted this plane at you know a pretty good angle so it hits it more directly straight on but not quite straight every little bit this has the effect of moving it moving the waves to the side so then once those two are set then you can go back into the particle system object you no know, to the wave object and then down in here where is this is it under oh, open borders I want to set that'll make the wave continue to go further out and then let me see where is it it's not the cache I'm looking for it's back in the particle system there's a way to set the oh yeah this solid radius believe it this will help make your waves uh, more dynamic we'll just crank it up all right and there you see it's really blasted it out and creating a nice little wave effect like this see it from a different angle it's down to 6.2 frames per second, but, you know, hey, how can I complain? Because compared to computers of the old days, this is quite sophisticated. And there you go. So it's cranking out a wave like that. Of course, to make the wave simulation look really great, you know, you just need a lot of memory and a lot of CPU power to make it happen. And let's see if the wave actually continues past since we make it made it open edge. The waves should not be bouncing off this edge and it should just continue on as if this edge did not exist. Let's see. And yes it well it does, but if we crank this up a little bit more and see if that's actually Yep, it just keeps going through. As it, oh no, there is a little bounce back on there. I thought I made that an open wave. Where is that? Open borders, huh? Pass waves through mess edges. So maybe I don't exactly understand what that does. All right. Well, I think you get the idea. So you can either affect it with you know the volumes, or you can affect it with particle systems and things of that nature. Okay. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.